Wow, dude. So, what's going on with your car? Well, as you know, I was driving along one day and this happened. So, what are we going to do to fix that? Well, it's down at Girawain Exhaust now with Anthony. Okay. He's pulled it apart and pretty much all he's found is a couple of lifters that have sort of got jammed up and as you know how noisy they can get. Yeah, they can go noisy. Yeah, so he's also checked out the bottom end bearings for yep. me. They look good. Awesome. Um, changed the piston rings because we're going to put it back together just with some new lifters. Yep. But I have also asked them to leave the camshaft for us to do. Oh, man. What we're going to do now. So we're going to go down and change the camshaft. That's right. And we're going to show them how to do it. That's right. Let's do it. Let's go have a look at this. This. We've got our work cut out for us in this one, I think. Well, let's check out the rest of it. What's going on, dude? Oh man, this looks good. Oh yeah, this looks good. So we're down at Girawin Exhaust. I've had an issue with my car, and I just really figured it was a good excuse to put some new gear in it and get it running a bit tougher. But what did you find from it apart? Not much. Yeah, but we sort of pulled it apart, there wasn't a great deal. Like, I don't know if you really stood out noticeably. Yep. Uh, a couple of lifters looked like they were a bit for the seats up. Yeah, they were knocked up somewhere. Uh, they didn't get noisy. So they didn't get noisy. Yeah, they weren't even very concentrated to the front for the two cylinders. For, for, for a motor with the amount of K's it had on it, it looks pretty healthy on the inside. Yeah, it was really clean. Yeah. On the inside, it's, um, it's no sludge build up. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. Clean. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
After cleaning up the valves, I found on the sealing surface there's a bit of pitting, so I'm a bit worried that they might not seal when we put them in the head. So what we're going to do is an actual test. We're going to put them back in with the springs and the tension back on them. We're going to fill it up with petrol on one side and see if there's any leaking coming through the valves. So after a day's work, Josh and I were no further ahead from when we started. As we discussed, the best thing to do is send the heads away with the block to be machined. It's the only way we can get 100% out of this engine with all the new gear we're going to be putting in. Wow dude, this job just looks like it's got a whole lot harder. Yeah, well, what can we do, you know? There was no way I was putting the engine back together as it was yeah. with the damage that we've seen. Yeah. And you can't just get away with changing a camshaft if you it change goes to show performance, yeah. Goes to show you can't just buy a camshaft off the shelf and whack it in. There's so much more you need to look at. And yeah, that's I mean, right. you could do it, but who knows how long it would last. That's right. So, a little bit longer, a little bit extra time, extra money, but it's going to be a weapon once we get it back. He hopes so, anyway. <laughs>